Our devotion for Thursday, April 28th, is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by George Graham. And the scripture reading this morning is John 21, 18 and 19. Very truly, I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. And after this, he said to them, follow me. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As Jesus directs Simon Peter to care for his lambs and sheep, Jesus concludes his conversation with some straight talk about some likely outcomes. Simon Peter might die as a result of following Christ. The author cannot hear this scripture without thinking of the summer his 93-year-old father fell and broke his hip to move his father from bed during rehab after his hip surgery, the nurses used a piece of medical equipment known as a Hoyer lift. This device is a bit like a human-sized crane that can lift a patient from bed using a belt and a pad. Seeing his father having a belt fastened around him and being hoisted with the lift was a, an image of vulnerability and dependence. His father, who had once been so independent and energetic, looked incredibly frail and helpless. The author fought back tears. He did not want to be confined to a nursing home. This is not the kind of life that he saw taking him. His father, recovered from the fractured hip, had died the following year. For the author, however, seeing him in the lift was harder than being with him in the final days before he died. We're all fortunate if we are able to live out our lives fastening our own belts and going where we wish. We are less likely to experience the religious persecution that Jesus warned Simon Peter about. But at some point, infirmity and illness, loss or injustice may lead us somewhere that we do not want to go. Whatever the cause, faith in the example of those who have gone before us from Simon Peter to our parents, can help us see us through. Let us pray. Risen Christ, give us assurance that you are with us, even when life leads us where we do not want to go. Amen. Blessings to you all this week.